Are we gonna shoot it? Let's go shoot some shit. Are we going to the right? I think so, right? Yeah, let's do it. Jericho's getting a new QPL. Right now? Yeah. Oh, let's go get the best. This one is cool. Actually, that's it. I want to know. Came out today, we met up with Clint Trial, Matt, Logan, Jared, and we're just gonna cruise out to the range and uh, break in my new AR. And uh, over time, going to the range at the ranch, uh, building my perfect carbine. Um, dress it up so today, I'm gonna go zero it, and just like shoot some rounds and get a feel for it. So Dan is the proud producer of the most viral piece of content that we've produced in the last year. If you oh. Oh. But we're out here, we're prepping for VAS, the veteran adaptive athlete shoot. Yes. So we have a ton of targetry to get up. You can tell by the stress on Dan's face. He's yeah, well, I hard. walked the course, right? I literally just walked a mile and a quarter on this leg. Uh, and it took about uh, 30 minutes to walk a mile and a quarter. Cool. So we are here in lovely Texas at the Black Rifle Coffee Ranch and Range. Um, I'm loading up my 308 pump right now because that's awesome. Other than dropping that, it's expensive. But we have a bunch of the guys out here. We have Mason from Montekima Firearms, got my cousin, a bunch of the streamer friends, and uh, Hook and Barrel Magazines here. Uh, gonna do some cool stuff and just uh, pew pew at the range. We're gonna show you a pretty cool gun today, which Mason built, and I saw it when I first got into his shop and I fell in love with it, so I bought it off him. But it is a Remington 760 pump action 308 in which you SBR'd and then also put a suppressor on, and then of course we got the loophole uh, LCO on there. But wh why did you do that, Mason? Well, uh, I like taking old guns and kind of tacticalizing them. Get tacticalized! Tacticalized! That's right, and uh, giving them a whole new use. Uh, I, I feel like the only thing we have to customize is a little larger mag because they only come in, what, four rounds? Yeah, and one in the pipe. Five, yeah. yeah, so it's a fun build. Like zero recoil, pretty quiet with that suppressor on there, the Omega, so. Yeah. Kind of still upset that I sold it to you. <laughs> you can shoot it whenever you want, you made money, this fucking guy. <laughs> Just you know. I put that on there this morning. It's zero, and bro. It's not it's bad, dude. Those things fine. line up pretty good. That's yeah, nice. This thing shoots smooth too. Yeah. We need. We need. Um. We need a vote here. Go ahead. Pick up your your five five six. We need a vote from y'all. Okay. Which one is cooler? Is the pump action three oh eight suppressed? Is a pump action three eight or the lever action five five six cooler? I think this one's cool. That one's rad though. It's just a casual Friday. I'm here in my natural habitat and chair. Uh, you know, we're gonna give this 40 Mike Mike a go around. I think we got it there. Uh, you know, with this wind and all. Oh, Bullseye. Oh, thank you. Yes. Hey, did you want to put this on your AK? Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yo, know, Caleb. Uh... The best part is it doesn't need it. That's what I'm gonna miss. Usually when you point at the dirt, you hit the dirt. It's like the craziest thing. It's odd. So when I was in the army, like most people in the army, I carried an M4 um, for almost the entirety of my career, minus when I was a machine gunner. Um, so it's a gun near and dear to my heart and one that I know very well. But uh, since leaving it, I have not actually owned one. And now that I'm living in Texas, uh, I got the Black Rifle Noveski here, and uh, over the next shit forever, I'm gonna continue uh, learning it and building it out exactly how I want it. Because when I was in the Army, you basically got what you got, which 
I was never hurting for anything, but I was also just a, you know, make what you get work guy. So, got this new AR, the Black Rifle Noveski. And uh, see, fresh out of the box. And uh, I'm gonna start playing with this thing. People come out here and just fucking plank away at steel from fucking seven meters and you could be hitting the top left corner of the steel instead of the where you're actually aiming and you never know it. But call me old school. Uh, yeah, like I'm used to uh, I'm used to like a bone ass stock bolt. M4 where the trigger is way longer, way harder, so this is awesome. Dude, these things are always just like, this is dead nuts on already. Hey, if we put a piece of armor on you, <laughs> can we shoot you with the <laughs> Absolutely not. Not how inaccurate that thing is, dude. You'd miss it and just <laughs> tag me in the shoulder and be like, oh my god, oh my god. M4s and ARs are really cool, but like, this is cool as fuck to me. Like these, this is what I kind of like first shooting when I was a kid, you know, growing up, it was on stuff like this, like 3030s, 22s, you know, like how the West was one. Right? West wasn't one that way. Yeah. You gotta bury the bead and the, ah, fucking hot. Yeah, it's so hot. I'm gonna touch it again, just to show it who's boss. <laughs> One of our favorite pastimes is just doing a little bit of simple pig. And we both have uh, new SIG 365s. I'll let you go first. You gotta call it. Yeah, it's right here standing. Just as slow as you want. What target? Oh, the full size. Full size. Full size. From your back, we'll say 25-ish on the popper. This is my technique. I'm just gonna wear them down. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna make him get up and down a lot. Red popper, one-handed offhand. One hand offhand. Okay. Ah. Popper, white popper. All righty. <laughs> We're gonna add a little bit of angle to it. Kneeling. Red popper. Ah. Pizza Logie. I think you got it. Son of a bitch. Okay. Off the truck. Second target from the right. High? Yeah. You were high too. That was way off. That was way off. Is this it's my shot now? Yeah. There's a PI. Let's back it up. This is probably 90 right here. Ha <laughs> <laughs> fuck me. <laughs> you like that confidence? <laughs> oh! Okay. So recap from the range day. Zeroed and broken, felt the Novesky the first time. A lot of really rad shit about it. Need to uh, set up my sling, set up my light, and pick an optic to run on there. That's yeah. Right.